All right. We got a little uh, unusual thing we're doing. This is not really cleaning the carpet as much as uh, what we're really doing is testing to see whether this carpet will be able to be cleaned. As you can see, people just vacated the apartment recently, and there's a lot of damage, and the carpets may be destroyed. Nobody knows for sure. So we're just basically testing whether these will come clean or not. We're going to use the orc orbiter and scrub the carpets, and we'll probably just do the living room. The rest of the house isn't dirty. It's just this living room, but it's real bad. But if we can't get the living room looking decent, then there's no point they in saving the carpet. If we can't get this decent, then we're going to recommend they just pull the carpet in. So. so we're going to scrub with the orc orbiter. We haven't, we're not going to bother with vacuuming or anything. You don't really have to vacuum to uh, scrub the carpets with the orbiter. Now the rug doctor, you'd have to vacuum the carpets real thoroughly to use it. So we're not going to try to extract so much. But And we've got kind of funny lighting. We've got a little real bright light outside the window. So we're hoping it won't mess the video up too much so you can see what's going on. But that's basically what we're doing. So we're going to pre-spray the carpets pretty heavy. We're going to get the bonnet and we're going to scrub them. And I'll put the camera back on so you can see that part. So stay tuned. Alright, <clears throat> he's getting the bonnet ready to go. We put down a heavy pre-spray. Heavy? Yeah, pretty heavy. This sucker's wet. Yeah. Um, wait and see how much of this is going to come out. if. If it comes out, we have a carpet job we'll make money off off of later. Turn that kitchen light off. If we uh, can't get it to really do anything, they'll replace the carpets. And, you know, we may get a nominal fee for coming up here and testing the carpet out. But basically, you can get a lot of these out. We have, but sometimes it depends on what it is. You don't get them all. Sometimes you get them for the spotless too. You never can tell. So you try. Yeah. So we shall see. Just getting ready to start up. <clears throat> Here we go. Yeah, just turn it off. It's not going to work. I can tell already. It's not doing anything. Yeah, let's give up. Yeah. Now, if they do save this carpet, we're going to end up scrubbing it again. By the time they get done doing maintenance and everything up here, you can't really fix stuff like that door frame over there without making a huge mess. So. We're going to probably have to reclean this whole thing anyway, but the worst of it will be done, and then we'll extract it. But keep in mind, we have not vacuumed yet, so... If you don't pre-vacuum when you use these bonnets, you need to be careful when you're cleaning them because you may have broken glass or, you know, all sorts of things could be in the carpet. And you don't want to cut yourself when you're wringing out one of these dirty bonnets and trying to clean it, so be real careful with them. This is an older bonnet, so... If we should trash it, you know, we can just get a new one for the next jobs. We'll still be upset. Yeah, we don't want to run them. Someone they last a long time. Someone asked us the other day how many uh, carpets you can clean with these bonnets, and we generally get around 75 two bedroom apartments that are dirty like this. We generally get around 75 of them on one bonnet, and that, I mean, they last a long time. So. And yes, this carpet is looking pretty good so far. We may just salvage this thing yet. If we take our time and do it right. Of course, I'm feeling like current, so we may do it wrong. Well, just <clears throat> he's going to flip the bonnet when it looks like it's not absorbing anymore, but we're basically scrubbing. Absorbing is not as big a deal right now as scrubbing. We're going to absorb some, but we're just trying to give the carpet a good, good we just scrub. See, if I get all the black out, I'll, I'll, I'll do some absorption here for a while. I'll wash the bottom out, make it clean, and I'll do two or three runs over and do the absorption. The important thing is that the blackness will come out. If the black won't come out, it don't matter if we absorb or not. I would like to find the best angle to uh, shoot this from where you can see the darkness in the carpet. But These cameras have these little displays on the back and it's kind of hard to see what you're doing. We need to get a monitor. We need to get a monitor and some studio lights, maybe a drone that we can find indoors so we can get better angles on all this stuff. Perhaps a GoPro drone. Perhaps a 
DJI Mavic drone. Maybe one of the two. Something that flies indoors. Wouldn't that be neat? For, for carpet cleaning. Sure would. Of course, if it hits the wall after they freshly painted them, they're not going to be really happy. Sure will. What's a little drywall and paint for the sake of making videos, though? Yeah, we'll, ha drawing. we'll happily pay the expenses for all the damage. Sure, we'd like, we like to fly a drone. All right. Now, so far, it's coming out pretty decent. Someone asked us a while back, what's the difference in these orders and the bigger machines? And the real difference is just weight. They got heavier weight. They got more, usually more proper motors. And, but as far as what they'll do, they do what this does. You just may slow down a little bit with this. But for the price of these compared to the bigger machines, it's worth slowing down just a bit. And that you're super busy. If you want to spend three or four grand and upwards of that, you can have this whole carpet done by yes. now. Bonnet flipping time. And he's going to flip the bonnet. And I bet it's dirty on the side. I hope everybody's too. watching. Don't want to miss it. You won't see it. It's, it's nothing to see. When I wash it out in the sink, that's when you want to see it. But if you wanted to spend a lot more money, you could get a machine that's a lot faster. And you could do this. You'd be done with this and already carrying your machine up and down the stairs. It's the fun part. But you'd be loading it in the back of your van. And well, they're... they're we don't know how much, I mean, I've watched videos on them, I've never used the bigger machines. They're pretty fast and, and they're nice, but, I mean, this is pretty fast. I mean, this is a trash carpet. We're getting this done. I, I bet we haven't got four or five minutes in it yet, and we're, we're a third of the way through. And, uh, and the worst part's actually been taken out, which is the part I did, so I just don't know why I'd want a big machine. Not that I don't think they'd be neat. I'm sure they're quick. But oh. when you can do this kind of work with this, I just don't see the sense. And we're using the Oric bonnets that uh, we put links in the videos for the machine and the bonnets. You can get them on Amazon. It's just the, uh, these bonnets work fine. You can get more expensive bonnets if you want to. And they're going to be faster. They're going to be more absorbent. Some of them scrub better. But these bonnets work pretty good. They're not a bad deal for the price. And they're pretty easy to work with. And the bonnets last a long time. And we do really, really dirty carpets with them. And... You know, we've had uh, one come apart on us on a job, but we've done like 70 apartments with it. Or more. Yeah, and then we had another one we had to throw away because it got full of uh, copper because someone stripped wire on their carpets. And it was embedded, but it, it filled the uh, thing up with copper strands, so we couldn't really clean it and use it anymore. Uh, this one's actually been used quite a bit, but it's, uh, it's like our second bonnet that we have uh, for emergency if we have a bonnet go bad on a job. So this is like a backup bonnet that we was already dirty. We actually use this one for trash places like this. We got cleaner bonnets we use for nicer places. Yeah. We got we got uh, nice white fluffy bonnets that we don't want to get dirty so we don't use them. We got tons for the price of them. We got a whole bunch of brand new ones that are even wrapped in pack They're wrapped in plastic. And they are great indoor frisbees if you have the space. Sure. And your cats like to lay on them and they're they're nice to, uh, you can put them on your countertop and when you take something hot out of the oven, you can set it on one. So they're they're kind of neat to have around the house, but once you get them dirty, you don't want to do anything else. Now, I don't know if the camera's showing this because of the, the level of light we have up here, but this is kind of clean. We're, this is this is going to be a, we're going to clean this carpet for this complex and we're going to go from a free demo to a, uh, a paid job. And everybody's going to go home laughing. All right. Start the video at the beginning if you want to see. And I may actually yeah, at the end of the video. Area, they yeah. don't need to see me clean that over there. Who cares? I may stick. A, I may. I may re. Uh, I may put the front of the video back up at the end of the video so you don't have to rewind. Uh, if I remember to do that, that way you can see what the carpets were like before we started. But. Now what I'm actually going to do is, although this is pretty clean. And I, I'm happily impressed. I'm going to wash the bonnet out until all the dirt comes out of it. And then I'm going to clean it one more time just oh. with a wet bonnet. Man, I hate when you do that. What? <laughs> we'll be up here another hour. Well, no, that's I, all right. the second pass will be a lot quicker because I already know the park is clean. But yeah, it, so this is the thing. You want to know why we don't get a bigger machine? Well, my thing is why would we? I mean, they're nice, but they cost a lot of money. This just, we just did this, and I don't right. know how long the bill's running, five or six minutes, and this is a nasty living room. As of today, 
when I checked last, you could buy one of these machines off Amazon with my with my link that's at the uh, description for the video. You can get one for three hundred and six dollars. Of course, you got to remember they don't come with anything but the pad driver. If you want bonnets, brushes, pads, those are extras. So don't forget to order something to go along with it. But uh, for three hundred dollars, it's not really a bad investment for a brand new machine. And All right, let's go to the sink. Let's see. Let's see if we're absorbing dirt or just. We'll see if you can see we're this. We're just rubbing it into the carpet deeper. Does the sprayer work good up here? Yeah, it works all right. Good enough for this. You ought to do the whole thing though, because uh, here, bring it in. It here. shows that is a real contrast. Let's see. All right, let's I don't want to get too close. We're spreading dirt or absorbing. There's a mix of review on that. I don't want to get splashed on the lens here. Now it's not a hard spray, so it's hard to lift it up and spray it from the side so you see the stuff running out of it. Oh, I see dirt. Heavy concentrates of dirt. That answers the whole, does it just spread the dirt or absorb? That right there, dirt, I, I guess it must absorb. So... He's getting the dirt out. So when you're doing these jobs, you can either throw down a fresh bonnet if you carry multiple bonnets or with you. Or you can clean it like this. Or you can just wash it out real quick and re reuse it and keep going. We just reuse them. If I known this sink sprayer was so terrible, I would have definitely brought a fresh bonnet. Because I don't like washing this out. It's taking too long because I don't have no pressure. But it, it will wash out. It'll just take five minutes instead of two you or three. You just got to get enough of the dirt out that it's ready to absorb some more. And don't worry about getting it perfectly clean until you're done with it. You know, when you're done for the day, you can throw them in the washing machine. Or we usually just like this, wash them in the sink. But we uh, put dishwashing soap, you know, liquid soap all over them, and scrub it through, and wring them out, and rinse them till there's no suds coming out, and then they're clean all the way through because there's a. This is close to washed. There's a lot of stuff inside the bonnet, a lot of dirt in the bonnet. You want to get it out because you don't want it to dry in there. Let me see something here. I'm gonna wring it out, see if dirt comes out. A little bit, but not bad. I'll rinse it a couple more times and we'll, I'll go over the, over the carpets one last blast. All right, well, he's having that. Let's see. The other rooms are not too bad. This room's dark. Oh, uh, something bad happened in this apartment, I think. But, you know, someone kicked the door. <laughs> Surprised. Yeah, well, you know, that's why people have deposits. Yeah, that's some good. Somebody kicked the back door in, and this is an upstairs apartment, so somebody got somebody locked somebody else out on the porch. They got mad. Probably the lover's quarrel. Either that or someone climbed up over the balcony, kicked their own door in. But All right, let's try this round two. This is it. Turn that light off again. Hit these areas over here where you haven't touched it all, even though the carpet looks good, because that this way it all looks... Let me hit this dirty, this is the dirty spot. Yeah, just make it all look even that way. I'm going to try. Okay, I'm at uh, 12 minutes on just this clip, so I'm just going to pause this for a second, come right back on, so we have two clips. And we're back. Oh, people are going to ask, what's the pre-spray? We don't really tell people to pre-spray too much because we've answered the question hundreds of times. But all that is, it's just, what was it, two cups of Simple Green? It's a, uh, it's four cups of Simple Green to about two and a half gallons of water. Uh, yeah, he mixed it pretty heavy for this one. And it's got pH in it, blah, 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 we don't care, because the carpet was trashed. So you got to use pH to clean these dirty carpets, period. Yeah. There's always people complaining about pH, but we don't have issues. We don't care what they say. Our it's not a super. Good. Our carpets look good two or three months later. That's enough for us. I think it's, uh, if I, I can't remember off the top of my head, it's, a nine, it's in the nine range. Simple green is on pH. And a lot of people will use 10 or 12. <coughs> but it just, uh, yeah, it still does it. And it's, it's pretty cheap to use. This so. is a fact of life. If you don't use pH, you will not clean this dirty carpets. High pH. Yeah, you gotta have some high pH or these things will not come clean. Worry about getting them clean with high pH and then worry about how to get the pH out later. The most important thing is to get them clean first and the pH, you can straighten that out if you need to. But this is a, 
I'll go ahead with the rest of the clean now since I've got the juice of it. Now, if you go on my on our channel, we have a section um, <clears throat> videos that we like that we've put up there that are helpful videos. There's a video that uh, explains chemistry and carpet cleaning, and you might want to, if you get a chance, watch that. It kind of explains the chemistry behind a lot of this because although the Oryx is a great machine and the Bonnet does a great job scrubbing, the chemical is what helps to break the uh, stain loose from the carpet fiber because there's a chemical bond and so what we're doing is we're flip the bonnet. Yeah, you flip the bonnet. We're just breaking the bond of the stain to the carpet fiber. And so if you just cleaned with plain tap water, you'd have to scrub it. It'd take a long time and you may not get it hundred percent. But if you spray down a simple cleaning chemical, this is a degreaser. You just put a chemical on there and it makes it a lot easier. Oh yeah that's the thing. We use a degreaser on every carpet. Just get a degreaser and use it. I don't care if you buy it from a, a uh, Carpet cleaning and chemical company, or if you just bought off the shelf at Walmart, it don't matter. Just get it to greaser. If you want to clean carpets, that's how you do it. All right. Don't let nobody tell you, neighbor. That's a fact. Okay. Well, it's starting to look a lot better. It's looking like it's salvaged. I think there's a piece of glass here. If it's shining, it could be. Yeah. Okay. Well, you got to ask yourself if you ever encounter a carpet that looked like the one we started with today, don't give up. Look how much difference has been made in such a short time. And if you're thinking about buying a buffer, you got to ask yourself, will the oil carpet do them? Well, yes, indeed. You can see that right now. That's why we make these videos. Oh, yeah, we, we do sell our carpets. Yeah, check the link in the video description. And you can see these on Amazon. And the price does fluctuate, so. The nice thing about an orbital machine is it cleans all directions of the fiber. Hey, get over here real good. Uh, this whole area here looks like you didn't touch it very good. I haven't touched it, but it wasn't dirty. Well, get it just so it all blends in. Get everything so it blends together. Just that way, there'll be more. Well, we're getting close to the end of this one. Real close. So I believe there will be a uh, video coming up, probably be in a month or so after this one. You'll get to see a pre-vacuum and we'll probably scrub some more and then we'll do an extraction. You'll get to see this carpet getting cleaned. This carpet will never be perfect. No. But it'll be moving, it'll be where someone can come in here and move in. It'll be clean and nice. And that's all that really matters. Yeah. Saving the company money that we're doing this for. And we're happy, they're happy, everybody's happy. Alright, so this is not the final, final result here. This is just to show that this carpet can be cleaned. It's not going to be, uh, it's going to look even better when we finish all the steps on it, but we're not going to do that until after all the maintenance in this place is done, which will probably be a month from now. Well, typically we don't do free carpets, but they called us while we're over here working anyway and asked us if we could look at one, and, and we made a deal to try it out. If we've been working all day and we figured we'll do this and then head home, it's uh, time to order a pizza. Well, this is a good tip for some of you that are trying to start into a little business like this. What you might want to do is find the dirtiest spot in someone's house, for instance. Do a demo. Demo by cleaning that one spot. If they're not sure they want to hire you, and then they'll see that you can actually clean it. When they see you do this from what they start out, they will hire you. Yeah, just don't do the whole house for as a demo because they probably will just say, well, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> so... And always get your. You just heard your last time from them. And what we do with customers is cash up front. Yes. Because we don't like to get everything done and it's all clean. No, and then, no, no checks. And then they're like, well, let me run to the bank because they're not coming back. Here's the, no checks, no debit, no credit, cash. Yeah. If you ain't got Unless cash, you have an account with us. If you, if you can't afford to pay us cash, you can't afford to have your carpets done. Cash up front, baby. Up front. Yeah. They put it in my hand before I can plug in. So, anyway. I think it's going to be a good good result, and I think they're going to be happy because they can save this carpet. I'm already happy because I know we're going to do another job. Yeah. Well, <laughs> basically that's all for this one, so stay tuned for the next videos.
All right, we got a little uh, unusual thing we're doing. This is not really cleaning the carpet as much as uh, what we're really doing is testing to see whether this carpet will be able to be cleaned. As you can see, people just vacated the apartment recently, and there's a lot of damage, and the carpets may be destroyed. Nobody knows for sure. So we're just basically testing whether these will come clean or not. And we're going to use the orc orbiter and scrub the carpets. And we'll probably just do the living room. The rest of the house isn't dirty. It's just this living room, but it's real bad. But if we can't get the living room looking decent, then there's no point they in saving the carpet. Carpet. If we can't get this decent, then we're going to recommend they just pull the carpet in. So, so we're going to scrub with the orc orbiter. We haven't, we're not going to bother with vacuuming or anything. You don't really have to vacuum to uh, scrub the carpets with the orbiter. Now the rug doctor, you'd have to vacuum the carpets real thoroughly to use it, so we're not gonna try to extract so much. But, and we got kind of funny lighting. We got a little real bright light outside the window, so we're hoping it won't mess the video up too much so you can see what's going on. But that's basically what we're doing. So we're gonna pre-spray the carpets pretty heavy. We're gonna get the bonnet and we're gonna scrub them, and I'll put the camera back on so you can see that part. So stay tuned. Alright, <clears throat> he's getting the bonnet ready to go. We put down a heavy pre-spray. Heavy? Yeah, pretty heavy. This sucker's wet. Yeah. Um, wait and see how much of this is going to come out. If, if it comes out, we have a carpet job we'll make money off, off of later. Turn that kitchen light off. If we uh, can't get it to really do anything, they'll replace the carpets. And, you know, we may get a nominal fee for coming up here and testing the carpet out, but 